water tower that has stood for about 30 years in West Plano will come tumbling down this morning to make room for a huge new development. Joining us now is Gerald Cosgrove, the Director of Public Works for the City of Plano. And the guys are basically going to go in there, the work crew, and just sort of cut through the bottom of this thing, and then we're just going to watch it tip over. Is that the plan? <laughs> That's the plan, and truthfully, it's going to look like a tree falling over. You know, cut off the bottom and it just tips over. Why not implode the thing? That's what Tim wants I know. To know. I Tim wanted, wants it to blow up. <laughs> I, I, I would have paid you, Gerald, to push the button to bring that thing down with some explosives. Uh, it's just typically not the way it's done here. For one thing, that when the tower falls down, they cut it up and use it for scrap metal, so ex explosives are probably not the best thing to do. Oh. <laughs> I know. And plus, the neighbors probably wouldn't be too thrilled about it. How, how does now this water tower has not been used for a couple of years, uh, and I heard it being referred to as inefficient. How does something as simple as a water tower become inefficient? Well, what it is is when this tower was built in 1985, it was far out of town, supplied the new legacy development, and it worked very, very well. But as the Plano uh, city grew out west and more towers got built, this tower really didn't work well, meaning that basically filled it up and it stayed filled with water. Uh, the purpose of a tower is during peak demand to let water go out in the system and then an off peak to fill up and this tank just constantly stayed full. So it really provided no benefit to the city of Plano. All right, all right. so we see the water tower there. We see a lot of land. Pretty soon that's going to be all built up, right? I didn't hear it. Uh, what's going to go in the place of the water yeah. tower? What's happening? Well, what's happening is the Legacy West development is going in as part of that development. The developer asked us if we really needed to uh, leave this tank in service. So we took a look at it, studied it, and determined that not only could we uh, not need a tank today, but in the future we wouldn't need a tank as well. Mm -hmm. It just makes it easier to work the development without having that tank in the way. Yeah, Plano's just about built out. This is one of the last large parcels uh, left, but it's got to be kind of exciting to have all that activity going on there and have it still be as desirable as it is. Uh, and, and this is probably one of the most valuable pieces of property still left in Plano to develop, and uh, we're very excited to see what's happening out here. It used to be a farm, uh, a family farm, right? In fact, when I used to come out here before, you would see uh, horses out here grazing yeah. on the land for quite a few years, and now it's quite a bit different than it was back then. Yeah. We no can hear the, hear the traffic behind <laughs> you. Gerald Cosgrove, thank you so much. We'll be looking forward to that. It's supposed to happen about, uh, about an hour and 20 minutes from now. There you go.